sofa6.co.uk Sponsors of The Haze Hour And we're live Here we are on Thursday night the 20th of June The day before the longest day the summer solstice. Oh, the, summer yes. so, the summer what? Solstice. Solstice. Yes. Solstice. Is that that's is that that's that's not made with avocados, is it? No, no, no. What milligram do you get it in? Uh, I can't remember. All right. Summer solstice. Nice. Anyway, tonight, tonight could be very nearly the longest night by well, not quite, but tomorrow will be. But tonight it's Thursday, and on Thursday night we do the hazel, don't we? We do. Yes, we do, yes. and we've got all kinds to talk about tonight. All ki- I'm gonna, I'm gonna let everybody know I'm not Gary Dibley. Definitely gonna do that. No two ways about it. Um, we've got Snickers from Daz. Daz got Snickers. I Snickers did. juice. I Snickers. did. And we're gonna, we're gonna try that. We've got uh, a quick look at the Camry uh, K200. Which Keith's taken by. Keith is absolutely taken by the Camry K200. Quick look, blink, and you'll miss it. Dink, donk. There you go. We've got that. There's, oh, there's all. And, and there's good news. There's good news. It's all going to be fun tonight, isn't it? Are you looking forward to this? Well, we're yes. in the dark. No, no, there's loads of light. It was bouncing off your head, if you remember. <laughs> well, that's been put right. Yes, it's also been recorded. And I've got a hairpiece on order. Have you? Mm-hmm. Oh, a Merkin. Yeah. American, sorry, is it American, the uh, the hairpiece? No. Oh. No, British oh. made. British made, yeah. that's okay, yeah. that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Um, shall we do the show? Yes. Shall we do the titles first? Yes. Shall we count down to the titles? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 3, 2, 1. The, the Here's Hour. hour. And here we are live. During the titles, we've discovered Keith doesn't know what a merkin is. No. no, it's a wig, but it's not for your head. Ah, right. right. It's a lady's wig. Ah, oh, right. For uh, when the London strip needs r- right. pushing out. And Did you know that, Daz? Yeah, he wears one. <laughs> Don't <laughs> tell everybody. <laughs> you took it down the hairdressers to get a dyed the same colour as <laughs> <laughs> This is my natural uh, colour. Prior to oh, that, I'm sure it prior is. Prior to yes. that, he had a full vajazzle going on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Doesn't even bear thinking about, does it? The man No, boggles. definitely doesn't bear. No, anyway, yes. You might remember last week, um, we were talking about Snickers. And, and could we, hell, sort out what Snickers actually were? Mm. Well, yes. because Daz has the juice, I've actually got... Snickers. Those, those with peanuts. They've got yeah. peanuts in. So He's, what I thought, uh, what I thought we might do. Now this is this is a bit of a first. We've never done this before. I have in my hand. A cl- well, move this stuff off closely up you can, as you do, and we'll go to closely up you can, uh, which is already up. And that there, there is there is the Snickers juice. Look at there, from MVP UK. That's where it's from. Right. So how do you how do you get Snickers juice from Snickers bars? Well, now the thing about it is, the thing about it is, he said, filling this up. If this is Snickers juice, it ought to taste like a Snickers bar, ought it not? Yes. So that's the idea, isn't it? Mm. We've got Snickers, and we've got Snickers juice. Yes. So somebody's being very clever in mixing. Oh, there there are uh, some there are some amazingly clever people out there. That have the ability. This is not to you're doing, Daz. Is it? No, you're no, going no. For these experimental, uh, no. Well, you know, I, um, 
I'm really open-minded when it comes to different flavours and, you know, I am very, very open-minded, so... I know, yeah. <coughs> yeah. So it's always an interesting experience. Is it? It is. You two keep talking. It's while always I'll... an interesting experience. I'm going to transfer this across. And, and more, th I've got to say, it, you know, touch wood, they've always been, you know, they've never been unpleasant. Well, I've had maybe one or two. I think it was, um, what was it? Sh rotting shark fin or something. Oh, my. Which was absolutely... Rotting shark yes, fin? It tasted just like it sounded. It was vile. And um, I, I had to try the pizza on, which was not to my liking as well. Oh, I once tried a pizza one. Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't that, that was the one. Do you remember? The mini yeah. Oh, yeah. God, yes. How mm -hmm. could you forget? Yes. Yes. Yeah. That it was. It, it, was, it was definitely well. cheese, but it was toornail cheese, wasn't it? It, it was. was horrible. It took a long time. It took a long time to get, to get rid, rid of the, the aftertaste. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. After you, the aftertaste is always always terrible. Mm. My my wife tells me that. <laughs> Oh. the aftertaste can be terrible. I've got no idea how. Anyway, so, <coughs> calories. Yes. yes. Snickers. I suggest, I suggest, I suggest that the thing to do... What? Oh, dear. MVP. Yes, MVP UK. That's him. He's a yes. bit nervous, he says. MVP UK. MVP UK. Mm -hmm. Well, it's nice to see you here. But, with, you know, if it's a fair simulacrum... Yes. Then that is what we shall elucidate. Yes. Very I'll dietly. I'll if, be up for some chicken tikka. Right. Yes, mm. Leanna Lawless likes smoky bacon, but she loathes that. I'm not going to say much tonight after last night. No. Advising people to keep in touch by Twitter and chat, chat yes. which is what I did intend to say. Mm -hmm. If you didn't, if you didn't catch the show last night, you possibly might want to. And don't skip to the end. Don't so skip have to the we end. all got to try a bit of Snicker first? I think we've got to eat some Snickers first, and then we can try the juice. Yes. See if it seems, does. It was funny. Well, it was funny looking at it in, in yeah, no, let's not go there. Right, right. here we go. From MVP UK. Snickers. Well, these aren't from MVP UK. These are, these are from, who makes them? Mars? Cadbury's? Mars. Caramac? Mm -hmm. Look how I have it doing that. Right. Mm -hmm. I've anything? never had a Snicker before. Have you never? No, You've I never haven't. had a Snickers, not even when they were a marathon. I haven't worn Snickers no. for years. Mm. <laughs> right, whoever's finished first gets to try it. Right. There you go, sunshine. Did you see what I gave them to you? Yes. It's an MVP, that version two. Just got it today. Sea biscuits, right? Eating and broadcasting is probably not a good combination. It does does make for make for dead air. That's really nice. That is really nice. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest and say that it the taste is completely different. I think it's nicer than the Snickers. I think it's a lot nicer than the Snickers. I suppose one of the problems is just having had a bite of the Snicker bar. Is that going to mask? The true no. flavour, no, no, it didn't. It's, well, it, it it's, wouldn't it's mask like, the true flavour of the second bite of the Snickers no. bar, would it? It's like imagine like a melting chocolate. That's that's the first thing that right. that comes with it, and then go. you get the is in the words of Andy Sutton, the nut after. I worry about Andy Sutton sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I worry about him all the time. What do you make of that? really nice mm. yeah it is mm. very nice it's not like it's i wouldn't say it, it's like a, it's better than a snickers it's, it's, i would, I would describe it as velvety yes and it's can you it's warm isn't it mm. warm it's the first They're, time i've had a juice which is they want the flavors rolling over the taste buds does chocolate is the biggest definition but I've tried chocolate before, <laughs> and normally when I try the chocolate, I never get away with it, mm -hmm. ever. I think it, the chocolate ones normally that I get taste foul. They don't even taste like cheap advent calendar chocolate. That, on the other hand, is different. It's like caramel. It's not caramelly. It's it's kind of like creamy chocolate, like milk chocolate, proper milk chocolate. Uh, uh, yes, uh, the, uh, velvety... Um, <laughs> 
not strong chocolate, yeah. if you know what I mean. Um, it's really nice, that. Yeah, it is. Very nice. Very nice. It's really creamy, milky chocolate. Galaxy. Yes, Galaxy. Yeah, it's Galaxy, galaxy chocolate on, yeah. on the on the on the oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, the, um, um, um. On the on the inhale on the inhale I'm getting galaxy creamy galaxy chocolate. Mm hmm. Mm. It's actually what what I would describe is that almost having a soothing flavour. There's a relaxing no, no, no. flavour. I'm not. There's nougat. Yeah. Do you get the warmth on the on the inhale mm. as well, like melting yes, like hot yes, chocolate? It's um, I tell you where it. I tell you what it is. Tell you what it is. If you can imagine getting a bar of Galaxy in one of those chocolate fountains, yeah, and just mixing some double cream in mm. with the Galaxy before you put it in there, and the tiniest hint of peanut butter, yeah, just the the weeniest, smallest, tiniest hint of peanut butter. And I think that's that's what it needs. It only needs like a tiny. I think it only needs a tiny amount as well. Oh, that's nice. It is, isn't it? It's really yeah. nice. It's <laughs> yeah. So, so where, where did this come from? That's come from MVP UK. It's and I have here. to say, it ranks it ranks highly in my probably in my top three of juices that I've tried. And it says may contain traces of nuts. Mm-hmm. It and there is just that tiny, I mean, yes. it, it's not, it's not heavy peanut. I mean, no. th this, this thing, this snickersy job, it's like, it's peanuts and it's toffee. Um, and there's, they, they call it nougat, but it's not, is it? It's mm. like, um, uh, <coughs> what do you call it? The honeycomb stuff. Uh, crunchy. Aye, it's a bit like that that's gone soft. Yes. Um Peanuts and chocolate, but the chocolate's nowhere near as rich and sweet as that. It's really, it's 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 definitely, I would say, it might in the juices that I've tasted, it goes right up there alongside yes, the road, like raw agree. serenity and you know the apple caramel and that it does rank very very highly mm, in my mm. vape I would say massive well done for that, like because that is a really really nice. That is very it's, very nice. It even rivals my vanilla custard. Yeah. Somebody and, uh, somebody in chat, I know not who, somebody in chat did ask whether it was an all day vape. Now I'm here to tell you for me it's not. Right? I couldn't. It's too rich. It's too rich. It's not cloying, but it would be too rich for me to use all day. The flavour is quite strong. Yeah. Yes. You know? Yes. And I kind of don't go for a really strong smack it in your mouth flavour all day. It's but it's so pudding. Yeah. It's pudding. It's it, for me. It would be one of them. Well, it's going to be one of them. Just Alan's not getting his hands on it. <laughs> well, really, really, it's the but, sort um, of thing you'll particularly enjoy if you are after you'd had an evening meal. Yeah, it's, 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 it's one of them juices that I would have to go in like a secret hiding place and just like lock myself away in the cupboard or something and just take a, a couple of hours of solitude with it. Definitely. I would say yeah, so if, if if I've had an evening meal, I wouldn't normally have a sweet, and I would enjoy <coughs> that as a substitute. Yeah, yeah. For, for, oh, for a sweet. Very nice. Absolutely, I'm I just, couldn't agree more. I'm going to whack the voltage up because this is a, a dual coil eye clear. So we'll take it up to five volts on this here. Uh, M MVP, I taste MVP version two, which has come from the site that was mentioned on Dave's tackle box, and I'm here to tell you it's the real I am. It arrived with me today, uh, but I thought I would get one. Just I wanted to check out whether they were the real I am, and this one is definitely the real I am, and it's it's doing the job very nicely. So it's at five volts now. See whether that makes a difference. Okay. Oh, well, you can hear it makes a difference, mm. really. Oh. Oh, that changes the flavour. Get it up to five. Get that sweetness straight through, and the peanuts come through better. Oh, do you know what it is? Or can you taste mint? There's no. I think it's vanilla. Hmm. 
Yeah, it is. It's vanilla. Mint. Yeah. Vanilla, not mint. Definitely vanilla, not mint. I thought it was, but no, it's not. It's vanilla. Mm. <laughs> it's nice. It's really nice. Beautiful. You like it then? I do. I mm. like it a lot. I really do like it. That's that's way up there in my estimation. Whoever put that together is to be congratulated. I was. I, when I heard about it and knowing I was going to be sent it, I was dubious because <coughs> of trying, as I say, trying chocolate before, but <coughs> that's definitely proved me wrong. Absolutely. You know, not every chocolate's the same. <coughs> Something oh. sort of soft and rounded and... Milky and Nigella milk. Lawson. Well, <laughs> far be it from me, you know, I'm biased there. Oh, hell, we know you're Talent, right. Talented woman. Yes, she has two outstanding uh, points. <laughs> <laughs> They're asking in chat if I'll put this MVP version 2 beside an 18650, so I suppose I'd better do that. Um, I'll do it on Closey Up You Can because I can. There it is, the MVP version 2. And here is an 18650 beside it. I shall put the base on. Uh, what can we compare it to? Why why not use a Z Max, Z Max? There you go. That gives you all the comparisons you need. I shall look at it in more depth as time goes by. Um, because I am I am, I believe, the last <coughs> of the team to get one of these things. You've got one, haven't you? I haven't got, no, I haven't got a, an MVP. Well, all, just about everybody else on the VTTV team has mm. got one. And uh, yes, um, and V and me would be the last, so you will be the last. I will be the last. One. One. I, I think everybody else has got one. They all speak highly of them. So I thought I would get hold of one and a half. And uh, I have to admit, so far, it's all good. It's doing the job. Um, and I'm not a box mod lover, but this is, this is all right. It actually fits in the hand. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger, you know. A lot bigger, it's, uh, but it's uh, it's comfortable. It is comfortable, yes. Has it got the uh, same... I know this sounds a really, really weird thing, what I'm going to say, but does it do the same with the uh, the attachments as the first one, you know, to plug into your phone and what? Yeah, 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 it's got all, all the charging the doodads ones, on yeah. there, yes. Little uh, switch on the bottom to turn it between there Because that did come into my mind the other day when I was thinking when I'm in the car, because my phone is always running <coughs> flat, as you know, because I'm nearly always plugging it in as soon as I get here. And I'm thinking I might I might just get one for when I'm in the car. Well, now it's funny you should talk about the car, mm. and we'll talk about that in the second half. Did yeah. you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you watch Mr. Dibley um, uh, awake on mm -hmm. Monday with his his mod holder? Yes, I was very impressed. I was very very impressed, but I'm no Mr. Dibley. Mm. Um, you know, I've got no hope. No. Um, apparently, I'm supposed to be getting the pillar drill. But I have the feeling I'll be also getting a taxi ride to the <laughs> hospital. It'll be, yes, yes. What's all this? There's, there's all kinds of conversation going on in there. Yeah, there are people talking about getting MVPs. It was Mr. Mark, Dave? It was Mr. Mark? Mr. Mark? Mr. Mark. No, no, not the stand, Gary. The car stand. The, the cup that yeah, you modded. the cup. With the little blue <coughs> the light, little light. On. That's, that's what we're talking If anybody yes. hasn't watched... Gary Dibley show, not the last one, but the one before. Go and watch how you can make a thing for he's your just car. Tweaked. It's clever. He's he's just he's, he's got it now, has he? He's got he's it. Twigged. Yeah. Twigged. He's twigged. He's twigged. He's twigged. He's twigged. Oh, uh, uh, for, for, sir. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means. Anyway, right. Yes. Look, I'll tell you what we'll do because it's that time already. We'll take some adverts, and when we we'll come back, I'll tell you the story. And I'll also tell you the good news, because there's good news. Good news! Good news! Good news! Back in a couple of minutes. The Safer6.co.uk sponsors of The Haze Out.
off the Hayes Hour. And we're back in the room. Welcome back to the Hayes Hour with Dave, Keith and Daz. Or Larry, Curly and more. Or Larry, makeup <laughs> and more tonight because... Makeup was in earlier on and, and brushed him down with, with anti glare powder, which is, you know, that's fine. That's Hope fine. It's worked. Oh, it has. There's it been has no worked. complaints in chat. Excellent. No complaints in chat. Um, two things. First, I've been reminded by Mr. Very Boring. Mr. Mean has a video up on YouTube, a link to which will doubtless appear in chat towards the end. If you've got it handy, PM it to one of the team. Uh, not me, not does. Uh, PM it to one of the team and they'll post it up in chat towards the end of the show for you to go and have a look at Mr. Mean's video on YouTube where he's trying to join in the battle of the YouTube videos and I think losing rapidly. There are loads of comments on there. Please go and uh, add your voice to that. But there's good news from Europe. Jury, you may remember, met yesterday and I heard this morning um, from Rebecca Taylor um, that the compromise amendments on e-cigs have gone through so Rebecca Taylor got her own way in jury and apparently uh, we also got it through from Jackie it's gone Northwest MEP again uh, a liberal I think um, that IMCO had also voted to chuck e-cigs out of the tobacco products directive two down four to go we're getting there we are actually getting there what we're doing is having an effect. This is good news. It doesn't mean we can take the feet off the accelerator. It doesn't mean anything close to that. We, in fact, we've got to press the accelerator harder, pedal to the metal, all hands to the pump, everybody doing it, but we are having an effect. And if you think about it, the fact that Jeremy Mean has taken to YouTube to try and do battle with people in the EC community who have been doing YouTube for the last four years, mm. I think <laughs> that deserves one of these because he's going to lose that one. I think he's going to lose the battle. Lose the battle. Means going to lose the battle. <clears throat> the Hairs Hour is a serious show and we would like to apologise. <laughs> what? I'm a happy think. bunny. Two committees in the EU have said no medicines for e -cigs. Jeremy Mean has taken the step of trying to get into YouTube and try and convince and get hearts and minds on YouTube. He's going to get stuck. I hope he's disabled the comments on his video. He didn't. <laughs> I'm going straight on this as I get home. He's, 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 he's got no chance. <laughs> he's got no chance. None. I'm straight on this as I get home. Ever. Mm. And I don't, think he's, he, I don't think he's disabled video responses either. <gasps> Ooh. This could be a maze balls. Yes. Is that the phrase? Maze balls. Yes. A maze. Torts a maze balls. <laughs> awesome. Miss. It'll be awesome. It'll be whoa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can we talk about cars and e cigs falling over? Yeah. Yes. N not Merkins or. <laughs> oh, fierce burner. Very, very difficult. It is, isn't it? Yes. Have you noticed that? Mm hmm. Gary Dibley noticed that as well, and, and, and he did something about it. Well, so did I. Well, I leak constantly. Well, we don't want to know about your use of tenor man. <laughs> Seriously, honestly, does. What a plan. I mean, why, why bring that up now? Why bring that I up? I just in? felt it was yeah. relevant. I apologise. Oh. <laughs> IMCO um, is, is, oh Christ, internal market and compute, consumer protection. Computer protection. That's just been asked by... Uh, Castello 544, Ed, in other words. Um, yes, it's internal market, not Bobo, in other words. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel Coffee. Yes. Um, yeah, so in cars, you, you were saying that you're... Stop reading chat, man. Sorry. Thank you. Yes. Um, we'll talk a little bit more. They want me to do your dance. Pardon? <laughs> they do, do they? No yeah, way. Are. Go on, then. No, I'm not, I'm not a dancer. Are you not? No, never have been. No. no. Head for thinking, feet for dancing, bit in the middle for all the fun. No, dancing isn't me. Is it not? I've always said I'd rather have teeth drawn without anaesthetic. 
That can be arranged. Can it? Oh, Look, well. they're all saying do uh, it, yeah, Keith. Well, uh, I've got to turn that down, I'm afraid. Oh. oh. Uh, you, the, you, there are, you, were, you were the dancer. There are sides. It sort of goes with your taste in music, doesn't it, really? It, uh, yes, yeah, sorry, we were saying. Cars. You know, you invite people into your home, you give them your Coke. Diet Coke, you feed them beer, you give, you give them, them Snickers. Wine, Snickers, give them you had a Snickers, Snicker. And then you get that. I mean, seriously, yeah. honestly, truthfully. Anyway, yes, cars. We've all done it. Everybody that's got a car, you go in and you, and you stick whatever it is you happen to be using up on the dashboard and you accelerate away from the lights and you end up with it on the back seat. Mm -hmm. In Gary's case, he was, he was going in with something that has a Genesis atomizer on top. Stick it down in the cup holder, mm -hmm. accelerate away, it ends up in the back seat. Go around a roundabout, it ends up in the left hand footwell where you can't reach it. Or you can reach it and then you get pulled over by a bobby saying, excuse me sir, who's driving? Oh, you're driving. And, and that, and you're not, by the way, did you know you're not wearing a seatbelt? Huh, no shit, Sherlock. Anyway, yes. So, I had watched Gary show, and seriously, honestly, the man, I think he's a magician. I really do think he's a magician. I, I think the, the kind of stuff that Gary does scares the living daylights out of me because I, I, I just can't be that precise. I can say how to do it. I know how to do it, but I tell me fingers, and they just go, nah. Well, mostly that one because it doesn't work. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And they just, they just, they just go off. And anyway, I'd been mentioning this, and I saw a product come up. So today, because my sister and brother-in-law, well, sister-in-law and brother-in-law, have arrived to stay with us because the grandson gets christened at the weekend. Uh, so you know they're up. We went to uh, watch the video. Hey, I'm not Gary Dibley. I can't do mods, I'm not that clever, but I needed something to stop what you are about to see. Have a look down at the e-cig in my ashtray while we drive. And off we go. I'm not a particularly fast driver, but you'll see it waves about all over the place and as I take corners it will wobble around and probably fall over maybe not at this one but at some point it will fall over or it gets stuck either way if it's not stuck it will fall over almost guaranteed and for once it's not doing it, but you'll just have to, there you go. That's with the Genesis on top. That's probably not a lot of use. So, what I did was, I ordered up a holder in wood, and there it is. Can you go out, it? And as you will be able to note, he said, overtaking a cyclist. It's dead easy to just drop your mod in and that's it, they don't fall over. So I'm about to go through to the bus station to pick some family up and we'll see how it goes. It should be alright. I'll report back later. And here I am. Bo. Oh, yes, yes, the bus now standing at platform <laughs> 4 is the bus from Sheffield with <coughs> Captain <coughs> Keith on it. <laughs> yes. <coughs> you ever felt a fool? <laughs> you ever felt a fool? Yes. Go on, have another fail. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, right, look, close you up your cam time. Here we go. There it is. That's the beastie in question. And it fits my cup holders. And we've I've tried it in a number of different cup holders. Fits the front and back cup holders very nicely. It's turned in wood, and wood is good, so they say. Mm. Wood's good. Um, and I, I, got, I actually asked if this could be drilled out for three proper size mods. And it takes proper size mods. Let's uh, put that there, and let's take the, uh, the beastie that kept falling over. That fits in quite nicely. And look, you can... I mean, that's, uh, that's getting some wobble on that. I'll, I'll zoom out a bit for wobbleization, and you can, you can see it's getting, look at that. That is going to go absolutely nowhere at all, at all. 
and, and I had thought at, at first when it came up, I thought, oh, the holes are a little bit shallow, but they're not. They're not, they're not shallow at all. It works very well. If I go to uh, camera five, you will see it has come from Mega Vape. That's them there. Megavape.co.uk, as it does? Um, yes, it is. Megavape.co.uk. 15 of Her Majesty's Golden Beer Tokens is yes. what that costs. And my understanding is, if you have a little bit scroll on there, young sir, you'll see you can get them in ego size and, and you know, there's all sorts of different ones. And in fact, you can get hold of Mega Vape on Twitter. So you can. Can you? There you are. Ego style battery or mods. Two styles. Ego yeah. style or mods. Mods 24 mil holes is what they are. What's that mean? This product is no longer in stock with those attributes spurs available with others. Well, now there's the thing you see. If we flick back the chat, does we uh, we may well be able to see if he's in. Um, where are we at? There you go. See, look at that. They're talking about tilt. They want tilt. Let's go and we'll we'll do tilt. We'll do tilt. Here's tilt. Oops, that's the wrong one, David. That one. We'll do tilt. There's tilt. Look at that. How much tilt do you want? Tilt is good. Yeah. Not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. It just isn't going anywhere. It's 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 solid. Solid as a rock. Now, I'm as sure as I can be that the clever folks out there can make their own, turn it on a, on a lathe to, to suit whatever size cup holder you've got and all of that kind of stuff. But people that are cack-handed, like, you know if, if anything goes wrong in the house, you know fine well you'll see tradey vans out there. Yeah. All the time. I, I, I came to the conclusion long enough ago after shelves fell down and very expensive ornaments got broken that if David turns his hand to DIY the end result is going to be accident and emergency not necessarily because it's fallen down and hurt me but because my dying wife has clocked me with a frying pan because I've made an arse, a mess of it yet again you're thinking so, of my Hanging baskets. Your hanging baskets are a case in point, Keith. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. Don't ask about the hanging baskets. Just, just. <coughs> the whole of the street was out to see what Keith had done with these hanging baskets because they wouldn't steal, <laughs> would they? No. They just drooped. <laughs> drooped. All it needed was three holes. Yes. Yes. Mm. Not hanging back. No. no, we'll not go there. Any, I was getting distracted Sorry. by chat again. But anyway, yes. The bot. The bottom line on it is. At 15 quid, for me, that saved me shaving my fingers off um, and making a complete gumdrop of everything. Now, somebody did ask. No, we're not talking about hanging baskets very boring. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just not happening. It's not, it's not right. And Rat thinks, ah, oh, I'm so sad that Rat's having problems with the strain. But apparently, she's going to have a fiddle <laughs> and see what she can do by next week. Enjoy. <laughs> I'm sure you will. No, we're not going to talk about the hanging baskets. They were, in fact, falling <laughs> baskets, weren't they? The hanging baskets of Babylon. Yes, yeah. pretty much. It was. It was. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, there you go. Uh, Mega Vape gets the uh, these these kits from uh, at Esig stands. He makes them to order, any shape, any size, any colour, anywhere. On you know, if you're not on Twitter. He said, being careful how he said it, if you're not on Twitter, you're missing out. There's such a community of eSig users, vapors, if you will, on Twitter. It's amazing on that. Yeah. It costs nothing. It's dead easy to get used to. Come and join Twitter. Why not? As yeah. well as, I have to say, the, uh, the Vapor Trails TV forum, forum.vapertrails.tv. We'll see you there and see you on Twitter. And we'll also see you fairly soon a week on saturday a week on saturday in the shields of southness south shields for that is i know you not interested because you're going, <laughs> not, going on holiday he's going away, away on holiday yeah we know but he'll miss the knees mate what's it called does the knees mate. where's it on the new crown hotel in south shields what's it called i've just told you the knees the knees meets. <laughs>
That's the knees meet. If you haven't heard about it, it's the knees meet in South Shields on the 29th of June. Keith won't be there because you'll be sunning yourself in Spain, <laughs> yes. won't you? Yes, um, you're, you're sorry gonna, about that. You're going to a rave. Oh, I'm bound to. You're going, going clubbing and, and disco. Oh, every night. Are you taking night. your brush with you? Uh, yes, mm. oh yes, because mm. you do perspire more there. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. In fact, Spanish wigs are much cheaper than they are here. I might pick one up while I'm there. Hey, you could get one for every week of the year. Get 52 for every single show of the year. Yes. Yes, that's yes. a good idea. What colour do you think I'd best suit? Well, how long have you got? In the styles, that is, as well, on top. Just a reminder, right, you've sorry. not got one. <laughs> I could be though. Well, I could be a vaping got one. A vaping got one. Yeah. So, <laughs> yes. What have I started? You just don't go there. <laughs> just do not go there. Shall we have a look at some new kit? Yes. Let's have a look at some new kit. And the new kit in question uh, came in. I, I, I decided that I would order some other stuff at the same time as I ordered the uh, MVP just to see whether it was real or booty or whatever it was. And, and, and there you go. Anyway. This here is what they call the K, it's a Camry K200 is what it is. And there it is, and I'll take the top off because it comes with it. But this is it. Now, I'd not come across this before. It's, and I know you expressed interest, didn't you, Keith? I do. Well, you know, when you, when you look at it more closely, it, it's obvious you've got that face on it, haven't you? You know, the two oh, eyes right. the, and the, the two nose. eyes yes. and the nose and the little yeah. mouth going. That's Ooh. right. Aye. Yeah. yeah. Well, the buttons are queer. It's really weird. Um, this, this, this button here at the top, top left as, as, as you would look at it, mm. actually changes the colour of the LED. Now you see, I need it just for that. That's all it does. It doesn't do anything else. It just changes the button of the LED. Mm -hmm. And um, leaving that to one side, I'll try and set it to purple again, if I can see what I'm doing. That's green, green that's blue, green. yellow, purple, doesn't show very well. Um, the top, probably need to zoom in a little bit more so that people can see. There you go. The, uh, this is super duper close, you hope you can. The top is a standard 510 threaded with a very deep juice well. Right. As you will doubtless be able to see. Um, and if we go back to the buttons, we might as well go in really, really close. This one here changes the power rating. So you'll see it goes up to 15 watts, it mm -hmm. says here. And then cycles round to 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and so on and so forth. Right. We'll leave it at 15. And then you've got two buttons at the bottom here, which, and you've got to let it go out before you go any further. The, the one on the right that you might think was up is mm -hmm. down. Right. And the one on the left that you might think was down is up. So if I press the buttons, you'll see we're at 5 volts, 5.1, and it goes up to 6 volts, and then cycles around to 3. So it doesn't matter which one you press, you're going to get where you want to be. Go back down, 5.5, five, and so on, and so on, and so fifth. Mm. So that's that little lot. It's a bit of a big beast it has uh put it the right way up david so the writing is available to be seen there's what the, the writing says this is the anodized gold and that of course is the fire button there um go down to the bottom end you can see that it has two vent holes there it has two vent holes there it also has ca marks and other things and anyway you know so that's the the, the kanga eck 200 and it, it's supposed to be variable voltage and variable wattage. It also comes with, if I put that to one side and zoom out just a tad, he said, zooming out just a tad, there we go. Um, it's got these flat sides but doesn't stop it from rolling <laughs> because the base <coughs> and, the, and the, uh, the top are completely rounded off and slightly bigger than the rest of the mod. <laughs> I do. It comes in this blue case, right, which has a little clip for hanging on your belt. Right. Which Good heavens. Would you? Would you? Maybe if I was hiking or something, but I never hike. <laughs> comes with <laughs> this cart or tank, which we'll look at in more detail in a second. 
and a spare cart or father cart or tank. It has no markings on it, but it's got a bloody great big hole in it to let it through. A charger, that kind of charger, and there is only one thing to do with that kind of charger. Fling it. I don't trust them. Mm. And a couple of batteries uh, with the Camry markings on, one of which is going to get taken to bits for next Thursday. Okay. Because uh, I want to find out what make it is underneath the, mm -hmm. uh, the branding. And a book of instructions. And the book of instructions for the K200, he said, not realising that everybody couldn't see, is somewhat strange. And I'm going to zoom in again on the instructions and hope that you will be able to, to see what it says. Because if you can make sense of these, you're doing better than me. Right, there we go. Use one piece of 18650 battery supply and 3.7 volt power, fully charged can be 4.2. 2.1 screen, LCD screen, deplays, blah, 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 blah. While smoking, press the operating button more than 200. It's, it's not easy to work out what it all means. What does that say that just at the first one at the bottom? If one puff lasts over 10, ten seconds. seconds, the LCD backlight, currently selected backlight colour, flashes eight times and then stop smoking. Oh, right, is okay. what it says. Let's 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 have a look at the, the cart or tank that comes with it. This is it. Well at least it has instructions. It has, which is more than can be said for many. Now this is a this is a, an unusual construction of cart or tank I think because it's got little noblets on it yeah now this bottom one is there to secure the cart or in the tank with that in you can't move it right but if you mm, unscrew it it will push through oh. all right right so you get it in position whatever the right position is for you whoops and I've missed Get it right, David. There you go. And then screw it down so that if you so desire, you can place it on your mod and control your airflow by sliding the tank up and down. Right. Against the top of it. I was going to ask that question in regard to that because I was going to ask it, was it, uh, did it have any grooves at the top for the airflow? Or anything? No, it, it has this, this doohickey so you can move it up and down to suit. Then here we have another one i'll take the drip tip out and drop batteries on the floor and that believe it or not he said do it on camera david that's a filling hole right oh. so you can stick a hippo dermico needle down it mm -hmm. fill it up and then put your little screw back in that's a better idea that's a cracking yeah. idea you can fill it to the brim so there you go. That's a closey up cam for the minute. And of course, David being David, I've got juice everywhere. You know what I'm like. Um, and while, right, I don't think the power setting on this thing works at all. Right. Right. And this is very, very much a first look. It, it literally, it arrived today. I have only had out of it 204 drags so it's not a fat lot of use right right i haven't used it an awful lot the tank holds five mil i've right. got five mil into it right mm. that's a fair amount of juice um it's currently according to this at 15 watts it's where we left it i don't think it is but i've got to say it works really <coughs> rather nicely this tank does mm. Mm. Have a try of that. It's nice to see a cart or tank. I haven't used a cart or tank in such a long time. Ages. It's been quite a while. Oh, it's and very flavourful. I think it's really kinky. But I love the tank. No, it's really no. what? Well, you know what I mean? Different. It's it's you know what? I mean, it's the, quite the, a... the colour of it, apart from the, the shape. Mm. Oh, there's different colours. I mean, it never ceases to amaze me the sort of professional presentation you get with some of this gear now. I mean, that's, that's a first class presentation, isn't it? Yes, uh, Jill CB's just picked up on the fact that you said kinky. Well, 
trendy. Trendy. Perhaps the word trendy. All right. I think it makes a nice refreshing change using the cargo mm. tank. I'll just ask Jill if she can get trendy tonight. Mm. Is that nice? It is nice. Oh, why six in it? I don't know if I've, oh, I've got a needle handy. Always good. Uh, need some juice. Oh, why six? Oh, why six? I like that. Six. It is. A, it's, a, it's a really, really nice tank, that. Oh, I see. Very, very nice tank. I'll top it up. It's I'll certainly it. producing. Oh, it? God, I is it. I don't think the uh, the wattage thing is working particularly well, and I'm going to scope it out. Now, here's how this is all going to work, because this is, this is actually, this is joined up thinking, is this. Marco's got one as well. And Mark O'Shaw on Tuesday at Vertising, he's going to do an in-depth on the K200. This is very much just a first look. And he hasn't used the Carto tank yet. So tune in on Tuesday night for Vertising with Mark O, because he's going to have an in-depth look. And this is not an expensive piece of kit, right? It's very cheap, in fact, is the word. Uh, so Mark O's going to do an in-depth. And for a week today, a week on, well, the Thursday following Mark Sorry. O'Shaw next Tuesday, I'm going to put it on the scope and film all the bits and bobs out and we're going to go right into this, the far end of the and where it came from to sort out what makes it tick, how it works. First impressions of the, the device itself, the K200, what, uh, what do you make of it, Keith? I'm very impressed with it. You like it? it it's, it's different, isn't it? It's not top pocketable though, is it? Uh, well, it's it's certainly lighter, isn't it? A bit it lighter is. than than some of the other. It, it isn't top pocketable, no. Good. Um, that means it's staying in this house. It's not <laughs> terrible, that. I like it. I, I, I like, I like it. What about you, does? It's got a battery indicator. I like that. Yes, the battery indicator. I'm not sure how accurate that is. I've got to work that out. Yeah. And you can you can get um, by giving it three. Quick presses, you can get voltage and, and resistance and stuff like that. But we'll leave that to Marco to show how it all comes together um, on Tuesday. He's, he's going to have a lot more time to get used to it and get the grips with it. I just wanted to kind of introduce the whole thing. What really gets to me, though, is this this cart or tank. Yeah. And I'm going to whip it off to fill it up. Um, I wasn't quite sure what it was all going to be about. Well, let's let's go to closey up you come again. And... Uh, and do a little bit of a little bit of closey up filling filling I'm having such trouble with my words lately. A bit of closey up filling. Here we go. So to fill it, dead simple. Unscrew the screw. This is where I could do with another camera and a picture in picture. The screw's losable. I'm here to tell you. The screw is losable. Mm -hmm. But it comes out easily enough if your fingers are dexterous enough to be able to get to it and I shall put it back in its little case height all goes in dead simple and you can fill it absolutely right up to as close as damn it the top I'll put the little hole the little screw back in the hole and as you might know of course I've gone and overfilled the blood thing I'm gonna it's come out the top, as these things do. Get it in shot, David. Always good. Right, now, because I've put so much in, the pressure's pushed it through the cart door. So there is no more juice can possibly go in there, and you will see how small that bubble is. Mm. Spirit level. Yeah. Yeah. You know? It's as easy as... Um, and you know, five mils will get most people through a day. Yeah. You get you through a week. Well, not quite. Not but quite. I know where you're coming a from. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, five mils for most folks is a day, um, and it's it's a donkey's edge since I've looked at a cart or tank. Mm. And when when I realised this came with it, and I realised this came with it when I opened the box, mm. and not before, I thought bonus. I mean, I don't know what would you pay for a cart or tank these days, does. Oh God! Anybody in anything chat? between? I would say anything up to a tenner. Probably. I mean, you can get five cardos for less than a five pound nowadays. Yeah, 
And a spare car too. Yeah, exactly. I think now with the charger, but that's me. £4.63 per very boring suit. Mm -hmm. And I think the gold colour on it's so distinctive as well. You know, when I walked in, it sort of hits you, doesn't it? Oh, the yeah, the colour it definitely it. stood out. It, it, it's not your sort of standard gold colour, is mm -hmm. it? Definitely stood out. Is it glass or is it plastic? Right. Um, I, need, I need a tool. Plastic. 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 Uh, it's plastic. You just need to tap it. And you, it's plastic. But that's not a bad thing either. It's well, not a bad thing because I know. I mean, like the Pyrex ones are very good, but you've got to be so careful. I couldn't have the Pyrex one because I'd smash it, guaranteed. Yeah, I've definitely yeah. flooded that car or like. Yeah. But anyway, there it is. That's the 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 K two hundred um, with the face from Camry with the little face and and the buttons that appear to be, uh, well, I don't know what you would call them. It's a queer looking thing. Um, I think it's it's cheap and cheerful, and you know where you can get it cheap. I don't know who's carrying it in the UK. Like I say, I ordered because it just took me fancy. NY Techs asking, do you know what the colours are? Oh, um, no, sorry, Winter Rogue. Winter Rogue's asking oh, what the colours are. There's a there's a there's a, a shiny. Um, there's a brushed, and there are other colours, but I'm colour blind, so. There could be blue, there could be green, there could be red, there could be any colour. But they're definitely gold and anodised, and there's definitely brushed, anodised, and there's a shiny as well. Couldn't go far past that colour. No. Ah, you quid. wouldn't lose it. 30 no. odd quid. 30 odd quid. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, and it doesn't look like a non doctor. I mean, it, it's all right for what it is. Yeah. You know, at that kind of money, it's, it's not a bad price, and it works out quite nicely. Yes. Now, we've got about five minutes. Whip it up 69 says yours is blue, Dave. And and Keith's pocket didn't even take it. Nuff said, says Midge Dog. <laughs> <laughs> gold, black, silver and chrome are the colours that are available. So there you go. Gold, gold black, black, silver and chrome. Um, which is all good stuff. Um, we've got about, actually, four minutes left to go to the end of the show. And I just, I just would like to say a big thank you to everybody that's been contacting MEPs and MPs that's resulted in what's happened in IMCO and Jury over the last couple of days. Um, they've done the right thing by ASIGs and they've done the right thing by ASIG users. My hope is that the Envy Committee will take on board the opinions from both IMCO and Jury and that Agri comes up with a similar opinion and that Inter comes up with a similar opinion so that Envy is left in no doubt that if they do decide to try and medicinalise ACIGs when it gets to plenary it's going to get voted out. But I would ask everybody quite seriously, don't relax, in fact redouble your efforts, give it everything you've got, talk to everybody you can, don't forget to go to YouTube on a Jeremy Means video and put a comment there and a video comment if he hasn't disabled them. Just do your worst. Get out, but be polite, be factual, be right about it, but let them know. Let them know that we won't take tyranny coming at us in the disguise of a nanny state because that's what it's all about. You cannot use e-cigarettes unless we tell you they're all right. That is bullsh feathers. Isn't it? Bull feathers. Yes. Yeah. Bull feathers. You, am I, am I, am I right? A, yes. The word tyranny, yes. It, that's yes, what it man. is. It's tyranny and it's wrong and it shouldn't be allowed. So please, 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 please. Yes, Grumpy Vapor said, get the wife and kids to email your MPs and MEPs. Do it. Go for it. And Very Boring is telling us it allows video replies. You know Yay. what to do. You know what to do. You know what to do. Download Jean-Francois Etes and put that up as a video reply. I would. Like, in fact, I will. Go for it. It's all, bull custard. Stuart Cooper said it. Bull custard. Bull custard. Um, we've, we've, got a, we've got a racing start, haven't we? Yes. We've got a racing start. Those two committees going that way. Yes. But we, we really do have to redouble our efforts. Um, now, oh, MVP UK is saying... Any chance of a shout out for people who want Snickers juice, they can tweet me at mvapeuk or email 
mvapeuk at gmail.com. Those are the two. mvapeuk at gmail.com. Is that burped? I'm sorry. mvapeuk at gmail.com is the email if you're not on Twitter. And if you're not on Twitter, you should be. And if you're on Twitter, it is at curly at sign mvapeuk. 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 That's for the Snickers juice. Um, there we go. People look NY Tech saying he's posted vids. Uh, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Get out and do yeah. it. Um, we're meeting um, Bridget Phillipson in July. All oh, right. I wondered. Uh, if yeah, her, her any, next uh, surgery is in July. Right. We're meeting with her then. I sent her a list of the videos that I wanted her to watch before we met, and she has. Oh, good. So when we get there, she'll be fully informed, and hopefully it'll just be, yeah, I'm with you, boys. I'm with you. Um, Hey, I think you know we're, we're going to wind it up. We've 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 had a, a very strange show. I've never eaten chocolate on television before. No, no, that's... I've never vaped chocolate on television before. No, I've never had think. a Snicker before. You never had Snickers? No, I haven't. No. Yeah, well, I've very been commando tasty. for a long time, but there you go. Ah. It's all good stuff. Hey, it's been amazing to have you with us for the last hour and to share the last hour with you. We've we've thoroughly enjoyed it, haven't we? Oh, very yeah. much. Did oh, you enjoy yeah. the makeup Absolutely. lady coming in? Yeah, oh, yes. brilliant stuff. Yes. All good. Um, um, don't forget to tune in on Sunday night for Dave Kitson, Dave's Tackle Box. It, there'll be all kinds going on there. Monday, Gary, D you cannot miss Gary Dibley's show. You cannot miss Gary Dibley's show. Tin your tip. It's amazing if you want. If even if you're not interested in building the things, go and see how they made it. It'll give you a little bit more idea of, of how these things go on. <laughs> Tuesday night, Mark or Mark is going to go further through the uh, the K two hundred, and I'll be following that up next Thursday. Wednesday night is VT Talk. Please, God, I'm going to be able to tell you that two more committees have done the right thing by us. And then next Thursday night, it's the Here's Hour, but you won't be with us, will you, Keith? I'm afraid not. Keith uh, will be away sunning himself. Where are you going? Uh, Tora Molina. Tora Molina. I'm not going to see you for a month. Oh, are you? Uh, I'm away when you come back. Are well, you going away for that? Yeah, I'm away on the 7th of July. Right, I need two good-looking women <laughs> to come and help me out. Oh, That's all I'm saying. And, oh, oh. and I've just been told by Kat, we're out of time, Sorry. so we'd better go. It's been great. Thanks for spending the last hour with us. We'll see you next time. Take care, one and all. Bye. 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 Bye.